Um, with us. But um, it's a little hard for right now. I mean, that's the way it's really good for all of these kids. Have a great uh, video and please enjoy. All right, we're going to talk about another domestic call that we have just heard about, but want to keep up to you. Now, a few minutes ago, you saw an officer who had been shot at six times. He was bleeding from the head. I'll make it very clear, he was not shot in the head. He was shot at, and he did have blood on his head. We don't know if that was from glass or exactly how he got that. We just want to clarify that. As we continue to monitor that very dangerous scene in Columbia, South Carolina, officers have been shot at, four people on the run. We are continuing to monitor closely. In the meantime, in Calvert County, Maryland, they've gotten a domestic call. Oh my God. Uh, Deputy J.D. Denny, going to tell us what's happening. So we're headed to a domestic well, is going on. Home. And we're looking for a suspect who fled the scene. We are a 2004 Ford Mustang coupe that's gray in color. It's reported that he is a 23 year old male and he's destroyed things in the residence, took his mother's five thousand dollars. And he's spilling his uh mother. I don't feel that he's especially no. under the police. No. Come up with some other plan. There must be another way. In reference to the auto accident, I feel bad. I am very weak. I'll wake up the rest of our friends. I don't know. I have a strange power. That resulted in negative clues, so we didn't charge him for DUI while I was going I can't wake up, chicken. He was a ride at canine ride the scene, get up his sniff. My head. That sniff was met with positive alert, so we conducted a search of the vehicle. That resulted in the location of uh, the I was trying to do this one in place. In addition to that, in the center console, he had hit the three of the back of the So what we did is we applied for charges on him, an application, so what will happen is that will get submitted to the court commission, and the court commission will review it with his previous uh, criminal history. All right, so Tom, we've been dealing tonight with the most dangerous situation the police officers can face, but you and I often talk about the fact that domestic violence calls can be really tricky. Uh, I have to think of something. Totally unpredictable. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if both people will turn on you when you get there. Um, this has to shake itself out, obviously. They have to find this guy. But domestics are always really unpredictable. Because Sticks, when you arrive, for example, to execute on a search warrant, and I've seen you and your team there, you got the helmets, you got the full equipment, you're kind of prepared for the worst. But when you get into a domestic situation, sometimes you're not quite as prepared. So when you show up on domestic, you don't know if it's just a football game, if there's weapons involved, if there's a situation between the two. Spring trap. You know, emotions are high, just as Tom mentioned, these people both can talk to me, which is extremely dangerous. I want to again, if you could put up a shot of Columbia, South Carolina, again, we are continuing to monitor the scene there. Our producer, Sally, is on the way there. I believe he's with Deputy Lawrence, um, who is heading to the scene. I know they could have are by this time of the talk to the family. Yes, my little family, 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 my little
Yes. What happened with Toyo Shika? She is dying. We can save 